Um, I just thought I'd do a, a video of just sort of putting your bat away after a season. So the season's just finished and uh, this is one of the match bats that I used, um, which I've reviewed before. So basically before I put it away, I just want to do a little bit of clean up on it. Maybe get rid of any sort of marks uh, and get rid of this facing. So the first thing I'm going to do as far as getting rid of the facing going, uh, is we've got to peel this off. So I'm going to use the vise here. And the special thing, which is just a hair dryer. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the facing off across the face of the cricket bat. So the heat from the uh, hair dryer is loosening, heating up the glue that bonds to the, the facing to the, the wood and slowly but surely we'll be able to easily peel this off and then make our way across the grains. Never ever peel up or down the grains because you'll just take uh, little um, splinters away. Depends on what type of facing you're using. If you're using a FiberTech facing, um, you might have a little bit more problem because that will tend to break into strands. There's always going to be a bit of glue left on the bat. So they say you should take your facing off every one to two years. Um, but because I'm bored, I'm doing it today. So this has been on the bat for a season and I sort of expected that I'd probably only play with a facing for maybe a season and then revert this to an oil bat. So whenever you feel any resistance when you're peeling away, that's when you go back to your hair dryer. Heat gun apparently works much better. I'm not pulling that much, just a little bit. Just applying a little bit of tension and the loosened glue should just peel away. Never work with dogs, children or hair drawers. Okay, so that's the extra tech sheet off. You can see how much glue has sort of stayed on the bat, where it's a bit clearer. And you can feel that at this point. So I tend to put the etch, this was a longer sheet which is really good to cover the stickers themselves. So now to get the glue off. So the easiest thing to use is uh, mineral turpentine. Which they use to thin down um, linseed oil anyway in furniture polish. So it, it works well with linseed oil anyway. So I just put a bit on a rag or a paper towel and it's just not really at this point, it's just all about elbow grease. Paper towels will break away. That's no big deal. You can see there the paper towel sort of breaking away and sticking to it. That doesn't really matter. Bat makers sometimes will just leave it as is and leave it overnight for the glue to set and just sand it off. Well, obviously we don't want to change the weight of the bat in any way, so for this purpose it's easier just to take it off. No 
Now the best way to tell whether you've done it properly is with the finger. It's and a bit more. So I'm just applying the turpentine like that. That's all. Just that amount. I'm not dousing the bat in it. The turpentine itself will evaporate. Nail polish remover can work really good on stickers and spacings to remove any cherries off them. Just uh, test the area before you do it with a small area, just in case that's a cheap sticker and it just smudges straight off. Turps shouldn't cause any issues. Just going to get another piece of paper towel. Obviously where you store your paper towels is important at this point because it's flammable. So one thing about using a scuff sheet is it seems to react a little bit like a sponge I've noticed on most of the bats that I've prepared and then removed the scuff. And that doesn't matter how, much, how well they're oiled, when the scuff comes off the bats tend to feel dry. This just feels greasy at the moment, um, but I tend to use a, uh, a bat wax I make myself, which is just a mixture of linseed and beeswax. Um, I've got instructions on the page how to do that if you want to do it yourself. to show you the uh, nail polish remover thing. So this is uh, acetone, but um, nail polish remover is the same thing. A little bit on paper towel, not much. It's really flammable. It stinks like anything. There you go. Nice clean sticker. Take a look at the back. Done a pretty good job.